crew reporting they're ready to go. The vehicle on internal power. The first umbilical tower separating from the booster. Just under 30 seconds from launch. Second umbilical now separating from the tower, marking less than 15 seconds. The engine's igniting. Ramping up. And liftoff. The year in space starts now. Kelly, Kornienko, and Padaka on their way towards the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering about 930,000 pounds of thrust through its four strap on boosters and single engine. Getting reports nominal operation. The first stage measuring 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter, burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds into the flight. Radially, copy. 40 seconds into the flight, stabilization is stable. Continuing to get views from the cabin inside, as you heard NASA astronaut Reed Wiseman, a fairly f smooth flight into orbit for these crew members. 60 seconds. Speech, your and roll are all nominal. Copy. We feel... As we come up on 70 seconds into the flight, the velocity will be just around 1,100 miles per hour. Continuing to get get good data from the Soyuz craft. 80 seconds. All parameters of the control system are nominal. The crew looking good inside. Again, Padalka in the center, Kornyanko in the top of your screen. Eight, 100 uh, seconds. All parameters of this structure are nominal. Copy, everything is fine on board. We are feeling good. Yes, bros, the USAF. The shroud has been jettisoned. Copy. The first stage has separated. So at this point, the escape tower end uh, has been jettisoned, and the uh, four strap-on boosters of the first stage have also been jettisoned. Uh, completing their job, they've dropped away at an altitude of about 28 statute miles. So use right now traveling at about 3,350 miles an hour. 150. Continuing to hear good things from the uh, mission controllers over in the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Koryov. The crew uh, continuing to feed reports in good health, the vehicle operating flawlessly so far. So at this point, we're over three minutes into launch, uh, since launch. Soyuz craft now passing a speed of over 4,700 miles an hour. Getting a look now at NASA astronaut Scott Kelly there in the right seat. Giving a big thumbs up. 200 seconds into the flight, the thrusters of the second stage are functioning nominally. Copy, everything is fine on board. Uh, we are feeling good. So the core stage, which uh, makes up both the first and the second, uh, is continuing to perform as expected. That core stage, uh, 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, has one single engine with four fuel chambers uh, and is able to provide between 178,000 and 222,000 pounds of thrust, depending on uh, the altitude and the outside pressure. Uh, it's going to fire for three minutes and 28 seconds. Copy. It'll burn until the uh, 4 minute, 43 second mark, uh, and then the Soyuz will use what's known as a hot stage technique, uh, where the third stage will ignite while the second is still burning. 
uh, as uh, being the reason uh, for the Soyuz to have that small open area in between the second and third stages. 260 seconds into the flight, the parameters of this structure are nominal. Oh, copy, everything is fine on board, we are good. Everything's still looking flawless for this launch, getting close now to third stage ignite and second stage shutdown. Second stage separation. Copy. And there you hear it, uh, the second stage confirmed to be separated, that core booster uh, separated in an altitude of about 105 statute miles. Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of the third stage, providing just a little over 67,000 pounds of thrust uh, that's going to burn for four minutes and two seconds. So there is the activation of TV system uh, in SA. Uh, yes, we observed uh, the commander and flight engineer on our monitors. Three hundred and thirty seconds into the flight, the thruster of the second stage are functioning nominally. Confirm L five the uh, automated descent. We confirm. So just past the six minute mark, everything continuing to look good from launch all the way now until third stage. Getting nothing but uh, good readings from the uh, controllers over in Koryov and the Russian MCC. So use being propelled by that third stage right now, which fires for four minutes and two seconds. Expect it to fire for about another minute or so. Or rather, two minutes. Four hundred seconds into the flight, uh, the everything is stable. And Padalka there in that center seat, commanding the Soyuz, is continues to watch over its systems while it makes uh, this flight into orbit. We're over seven minutes, 15 seconds now since liftoff. The thrusters of the second stage are functioning nominally. Copy, everything is fine on board, no issues. Inaudible. Right about now, the Soyuz already traveling at a speed of uh, almost 13,500 miles an hour. It's a little over seven and a half minutes now since liftoff. Everything continuing to look great. Uh, these three crew members are well on their way towards their initial orbit. 460 seconds into the... Once the uh, third stage delivers the craft uh, into orbit, the module will be separated, Copy. and all those pre-programmed uh, commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz uh, for its, all of its orbital operations. Uh, so uh, bring up a number of the systems to be automatically activated uh, by the onboard computers at very precise times. just about 30 seconds or so away from third stage cutoff and separation. 500 seconds into the flight. Everything is nominal. Everything is fine on board as well. We have KO and Katika 3. And third stage separation confirmed. You can see the 
Snowman uh, giving a view that microgravity is indeed the new home for these three space flyers. Uh, the single liquid-fueled engine shut down on the third stage, dropping away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. It performs a quick avoidance maneuver by opening a valve in its liquid oxygen tank. Soyuz craft now separated, the crew inside safely in orbit, getting ready to execute all those pre-programmed commands, deploying the antennas and the solar arrays, which will provide uh, power to the batteries uh, on board the craft throughout its uh, upcoming chase towards the International Space Station. Everything is fine on board. How copy? We copy you, Altair. And so for now, we'll stand by for confirmation of uh, that solar ray and antenna deploy. Uh, but the spacecraft orbiting at its initial altitude of about 143 miles by 118 miles. That orbit going to be raised uh, systematically over the course of the next six hours as it uh, chases down the International Space Station. We are ready to report Form 37998818 is in the war and uh, 8. 62 is the third parameter. How copy? We copied all. Thank you. We will proceed working on the ODF. And this is a view from the control panel that uh, Commander Padalka is looking at inside the craft right now. Control of the spacecraft uh, from here on out was uh, being overseen by the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. And so just uh, receiving another confirmation that the, the solar arrays have indeed deployed and all the antennas, again, those uh, navigation and communication antennas uh, being some of the first things out and the solar arrays, which are going to uh, be used to collect power for use by the onboard batteries, generating electricity for all the Soyuz systems. Yes, copy. First antennas out, uh, the Corps' rendezvous and docking antennas, which are going to be used a little bit later uh, this evening after the Soyuz completes its chase of the International Space Station. The Corps' antennas feeding in all the automatic uh, range and rate of closure information uh, as it does its final approach uh, towards that Poisk module where the Soyuz is going to be docking. We deactivated the repress Moscow. Okay, we copy that you deactivated the repress. Okay, let's proceed working on the procedure. Moscow, please uh, receive our report on the data. Go ahead. 17th parameter, 18.0, is the propellant. How copy? We received your report on the form. Uh, we start checking the 
And again, this will look at the commander's display inside that Soyuz craft. Gennady Padalka in the commander's seat. Uh, beside him, Scott Kelly, Mikhail Kornienko on their way. A year in space now begun. All the solar arrays and antennas uh, on the vehicle deployed successfully.